A big part of the success was Cypress Grove's ability to make artisanal cheeses on a large scale. Cheese is an art form. The inspiration for Mary's number one selling artwork, Humboldt Fog, actually came to her after her first visit to France. On the trip back, I had a dream of Humboldt Fog. I had the perfect image of the cheese and how it would look and what the name was and everything. 20 years later, it's still made the same way. Pack it half full, sprinkle the ash on, and then turn it out. Each round is then rolled in more edible vegetable ash to mellow the acidic flavor, sprayed with the same mold used on Brie's and Camembert, and left to ripen. Then it's periodically turned in a beautifully choreographed movement to help keep its shape. Hand wrapped and, like her other cheeses, placed in special packaging, she helped design to keep the cheese from overheating, a lesson learned the hard way when an entire pallet of cheese melted. We cried. <laughs> well, you know, it was our very first pallet of cheese and when you lose most of it, it was a huge, huge loss to a small company. They've managed to make up for it. Cypress Grove has been winning awards since 1998 and now makes about a dozen different cheeses with memorable names that evoke the laid back feeling of Humboldt County. There's Purple Haze, Midnight Moon, and her latest creations, the peppery Sergeant Pepper and... This dill will be called psychedelic because Humboldt County is, it's like going back to the 60s when you come here. But the revenues are taking them well into the future. 10 million in sales. So it's pretty good return on $10,000. <laughs> Mary still loves inventing new cheese flavors and she still creates them in her kitchen. But these days, that kitchen is part of a beautiful custom made home with a woodshed that's about the size of her first house. Any business I would say don't do it unless you love it because there will be days when you're working really long, long hours. And I mean, everybody hears that, but it's real. <laughs>